thank you so much for joining me in a new video. Today I am going to be sharing a small spring 2023 haul from Trader Joe's. Some of the items that I was able to find at Trader Joe's is part of their new releases for spring. So some of these goodies are brand new to us that we have never tried. And I would say probably the majority of this haul is stuff that I've already purchased before that it's kind of like something I repurchase every time I go to Trader Joe's. I don't go all that often. I don't have like a set amount if I go like once a month. I just go when I want to stock up on some of the goodies that I can only find at Trader Joe's or that I prefer to get at Trader Joe's. I spent $114 for this haul. This will last us a good amount of time some things I splurged on that necessarily wasn't on the list to get but something I saw on an ad for Trader Joe's that I was like oh I better go and get those so that we can try them if you guys are new here my name is Brittany I am a stay-at-home mom I have four kids they are older school-aged kids I also am a mom to three dogs who you see frequently throughout my videos here I am married to my best friend, Josh. He is my husband. We are going to be celebrating 11 years of marriage next month. And time is just flying by. Here on my channel, I do share homemaking, day in the life vlogs, family vlogs, shopping hauls like this one. And I recently created a second channel called Tackle It with Brit. And that channel is dedicated to cleaning and laundry and organizing all of the motivation you might need as a homemaker yourself. I am so glad that you are here joining me for a video today. If you are new, please consider hitting the red subscribe button before leaving today's video. Also giving me a big thumbs up. This helps YouTube know and myself know that you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to leave me some comments down below. I love to read all your comments and chat with you. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get into the haul. Again, this haul was $114 total. I'm going to try to remember to put the prices on the screen. Starting off over here, I did get some roasted unsalted sunflower seeds. I like to add these into my salads or even just a little handful um, as a little snack throughout the day. I usually get the peanut butter and jelly snack duos. I think this is new, but these are crispy cocoa cream filled wafer sticks with a peanut butter dip. I know that the kids are going to love these. Um, let me see. There's 310 calories per pack, so I probably won't be having these, but maybe I will just try um, one snack just to see how they taste because the peanut butter and jelly ones are delicious. I really like those and the kids like those as well. I did get some organic pitted dates. I don't, I don't know how to say that, but I did get some dates. I saw a recipe, um, adding these into like a smoothie bowl. So I wanted to try that. Some bananas. These are something I can't find anywhere except Trader Joe's and I love them so much. They are seasoned corn ribs. They are delicious. I do put a little bit of Mexican street corn seasoning that I bought at Sam's Club. I like to sprinkle a little bit of that while it's roasting in the oven. So yummy. Here is something else that I do believe is new, and it is perfectly pickled pups. Mini uncured beef franks coated in a dill pickle, flavored batter, and breading. If you love pickles, go and get these. I am so excited to try these. Um, four pieces, ooh, 550, oh no. That's for the whole container. So four pieces is 250, um, but I did want to pick up, I just got one box just to try it out and see if the kids, kids and I like it. We all love pickles. Josh does not, he hates pickles. So um, that's why I only got one box just for us to try. And then if we do like them, I will go back and hopefully be able to pick up more before they're gone. 
I love to pick up their roasted corn. It's in the frozen section as well as these roasted bell peppers and onions. Um, we like to make burrito bowls at home um, during the week with cauliflower rice. And I love to add these two to the bowls. And I got some of these Trader Potato Tots for the kids for either a snack or um, part of lunch or part of dinner. Some of these small tomatoes, mini San Morozano plum tomatoes. I have no idea if I'm saying that right, but I love tomatoes. Um, I can eat them on their own. I can put them in salad, a sandwich, anything like that. Just love tomatoes. And then I decided to get this turkey spinach and Swiss cheese wrap. I'm going to have this for lunch today. It also has honey Dijon mustard in an herb and garlic tortilla. That sounds delicious. It is 430 calories for this one sandwich. I needed some more baking soda and this is one of the items that got me in the ads were these blueberry and lemon hand pies. Look how delicious these are. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try them. Um, I decided to get two. Um, only Ronan is here this week. The other kids are with their bio dad, um, having time with him. So I only decided to get two boxes comes to each, but I'm really excited to try those. I did get a Cobb salad. This is my favorite salad that Trader Joe's has, although all of their salads are delicious. Um, so I only decided to get one, and that is because used by 328, and today as I am filming this, it is 327, and pretty much all of them were like that, so I didn't want to have to throw them away because that happened in uh, my last trip to Trader Joe's. I didn't realize that the salad needed to be eaten the day after I got it. And um, it was like two or three days later and I had to throw it away. So that's why I only got one. This is the next item that I have gotten before, but it's been a while. It's the spinach and kale Greek yogurt dip. It's really good and it's a little bit lower in calorie than like the average dip. 60% um, less calories. So two tablespoons is only 30 calories. Perfect with some crackers. And I've also had this before, these salmon pinwheels, a spinach and Mediterranean style herb feta cheese wrapped in salmon. These are so yummy. And um, two of them feeds us because None of the kids really like salmon, especially Ronan. He hates salmon. So I will just make him something else when we eat this. And one pinwheel is 380 calories. I do really like to get the Hearts of Palm from Trader Joe's. Normally I buy it and it comes in like a package, like a boxed package. So this is the first time that I am buying it in the can but I am excited to try it just straight from the can. Um, a lot less calories and carbs than leading pasta, regular pasta. These have a lot less calories and carbs as compared to a regular pasta. So for two servings per container, it's 35 calories and that is it. So really like Hearts of Palm. I got this the last time I went to Trader Joe's. It's cheese and pepper corn rice snacks. Josh really liked it. I didn't even end up trying it, um, but I wanted to get him another bag while he was there. I did get some fresh flowers. These were only $4.99 and they are perfect for spring. We ended up getting this the last time as well. It is beef berea. I will say that um, it says two servings per container, but there is not a lot of meat in here at all. Um, there's a really small amount, but Josh really enjoyed it. So I decided to pick it up again. And then this is another staple that I get every time. It is mushroom risotto. It's delicious. And this time I decided to grab two bags. 
Got some mini beef tacos. Um, Ronan can have these for dinner sometime this week. And then also a little treat for Ronan. Uh, these coffee bean mini ice cream cones. He loves coffee bean ice cream. So I decided to pick these up. This was another thing that I saw in the ad that I wanted to get. That's it for today's haul from Trader Joe's. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the big thumbs up. I hope everyone is doing well. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care. Cry, Bye. They say.